Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 12th of May, 2011. 46 years ago today, the Russian probe Luna 5 crash-landed on the moon. Solar activities remained very quiet, with most of the sunspot regions continuing the decay that we saw yesterday. No new regions have appeared in the last 24 hours. I find it interesting that all these regions seem to be decaying at the same time. This, of course, could just be coincidence, but the implication is that there is some global mechanism controlling overall solar activity. So let's take a look at the SDO data and see how these regions decayed. First the sunspot movie and then the magnetic movie. Note how the regions simplify and diffuse as time goes by. And no regions seem to show any form of rapid growth. The decay of these regions is reflected in the GOES X-ray plot. You can see that the X-ray background has now dropped below the B2 level and we've only had a few minor B flares in the last 24 hours. However, despite the lack of any significant activity, as usual the coronal movie shows a lot of change going on all the time, just about everywhere. However, we have had a slow coronal mass ejection off the southeast limb, but there was no sign of it in the coronal movie. Nor is there any sign of a filament eruption off the southeast limb in the Helium 304 movie. Taking a quick look at the Stereo B data, we should have a clear view of this event. I see no sign of an eruption there either, so this event's going to have to remain a mystery. Here, however, is a great little movie of the filament eruption that we had yesterday from spaceweather.com. From the ACA we see that we're in the slow speed solar wind at the moment, and with a temperature well below a million degrees. The auroral zone seems very quiet, and the KP index has been varying between 0 and 1. So in summary then, the sunspot number has dropped to 84, and I suspect that that's going to drop significantly over the next couple of days. The X-ray background has also decayed to the B1 level. Radio sun flux is down to 94 solar flux units. Solar wind speed is 380 km per second, and the KP index is rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours in the context of this decaying activity is that C flares are possible, chances of M or X flare are very low, you're still getting coronal mass ejection so I suspect that there's a good chance that that will continue, and the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours I consider to be low. This is especially the case when you look at the Compass's coronal image from the combination of stereo, A, B and SDO, and see that there are no major regions due back over the east limb for several days. So however, if you want more detail, go to the websites listed in the description box below. There are also links to the previous editions of The Sun Today and other solar related videos. And you might want to check out my channel and see some of the uh, global warming videos that I have available there. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.